All right, folks, for New Year's Eve, uh, my wife is going to be cooking oysters. Well, we're going to be steaming them. We're going to be eating them raw. We're going to do uh, some smoked oysters. I'm getting 100 count oysters from the shrimp guy. If you guys have, if you're local in the Ruskin area, Waimama, Apollo Beach, Brandon, um, Riverview, they've got the selection of seafood that they've got is unbelievable and the oysters are huge the shrimp they call their u2s i'll have to i'll have to show you these things are huge but anyway we're going to do a co cooking segment this evening so i'm really looking forward to it because i love oysters i absolutely love oysters so enjoy this segment if you're looking for fresh seafood the the shrimp guy is the person to call here locally in the riverview ruskin apollo beach area definitely get in touch with them and uh, because they sell out quick so you might want to reserve your, your seafood okay guys I'm here with Joe aka the shrimp guy and um, I'm here picking up our, our hundred count of oysters like I said we're looking forward to doing the clean or the cooking segment I always want to say cleaning but they've got a wide variety of seafood and I want to show you if you can get me those if you can show me those YouTube um, shrimp they're, giant they're shrimp. unbelievably giant but how long have you been doing this, Joe? We've been doing this about five years now. Um, we started out kind of wholesale and running back and forth to Louisiana, picking up crawfish and crabs and dealing with restaurants. And we kind of left that alone and just started doing fully retail. Well, he's, he's got a very good reputation here in Ruskin. Let me show you these, these shrimp. Now that's a big shrimp. <laughs> that is a big shrimp. And they've got stone crab claws they've got oysters they've got the shrimp they've got regular key is it key west shrimp key west pink shrimp key west pink shrimp so they've got all kinds of stuff and they're up here every saturday every saturday at, from 10 30 in the morning about two o'clock at the firehouse cultural center in Rust. so there you go we're going to get our oysters and we're going to go and cook them up for new year's eve and be sure to watch the cooking segment because we're going to do them a lot of different ways thanks Thanks appreciate it, Joe. Alright, let's try that again because I thought it was off and it wasn't off. It was actually on and I turned it off. But anyway, um, we're going to do thanks to the shrimp guy he has an awesome selection of seafood from oysters stone crab key west pink shrimp uh colossal youtube 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 shrimp he's got blue crabs but the blue crabs have been tough because in louisiana the weather's been bad so they haven't been able to get those but anything else they pretty much have so what we're going to do is we're going to what are we going to do honey well we're going to take these oysters and try them three ways. We're going to grill them with a the butter compound that I made previously and I'll give you guys the recipe. We're gonna smoke some, which is like some Old Bay and throw them on the smoker and see how they turn out. And then we're gonna eat some raw. And I did make a homemade, my own um, uh, with, with cocktail, cocktail sauce. sauce because <laughs> I can't stand the stuff that you buy, it's way too sweet. So I'll, I'll give you that recipe as well. But Todd also brought home a hogfish so yes. we, we've got like three pieces of hogfish. We're gonna throw them on the smoker with just a little Old Bay. We don't know how they're gonna turn out. We'll either eat them tonight or we might even turn them into a fish tip. We're just you gonna never play know. it by ear. Who you knows? You never know. We're just gonna experiment and try and taste and see what tastes good and, and go from there. So. Now, when we're out grilling and smoking and everything else, Please forgive the uh, fireworks going off because it is New Year's Eve. So yes, it is. Uh, we're just doing this. We're, this is the first time we've spent New Year's Eve alone. alone. We've always had the, the kids, the and kids the over here. here. And, and for them, they're, they're off camping, having a good time, which is awesome. I love that our grandkids' parents take them out and camp they camp quite a bit so well it's they cool. try to go out once a month even yeah. though they're you know in school they i told them they need to do it while they're young because when they get to be teenagers they don't they, want to have anything yeah. to do with mom and dad and the <laughs> daughter point. has friends in town she doesn't she doesn't have any kids yet but yeah. she has friends in town and um so it's just todd and i we're gonna go out and you're gonna hear the fireworks in the background so you so guys are joining us for new year's eve Yay! Fun all right let's go so i just washed the hot hogfish off and I put it in some paper towels just to
get some of the moisture out of it. It's, it's a very white fish. So I don't know, I think it needs fat. I'm gonna use my trusty bacon grease. I'm gonna rub it down with basin, bacon grease. Put a little of my, I don't have Old Bay because for some reason Publix was out of Old Bay forever. But I have this St. Augustine seasoning that tastes to me just like Old Bay. So we're gonna use that just lightly and we're gonna throw it on the smoker and see what it does. We'll see. Okay, so I literally have no idea what I'm doing. I feel like they need a little fat, so I'm just gonna put a little, yes, I have a grease can of bacon on my stove top. I'm gonna just rub a little bacon grease on here. That's smoky, right? Bacon grease, smoky. Fish needs some fat. I don't know, I don't want it to stick to the grill. So Bacon we're... grease on the piggies. Yeah, oh, on the hogs, the hogs. The hogs are getting greased up. But I'm just gonna rub a little on here and then I'm gonna use some of this St. Augustine all-purpose seasoning, AKA Old Bay, because it tastes the same to me. I'm just gonna do it a little lightly and we're gonna throw them on the smoker and just see what they taste like. It's, it's kind of salty. I hate how that comes out, by the way. You can always throw it in your hand. Okay, don't throw it in the hand with all the bacon grease on it. That doesn't work. Just be gentle, 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 gentle. It's very salty, that's the only reason. I like to buy Old Bay that's the reduced sodium because it's so salty. I don't know why they have to put so much salt in stuff. You see, I just, I just use my hand. I just, yeah. Lightly, the holes are really big. You see how big those holes are? If I could make them smaller, I would like it better. All right, we're going to the smoker. to the shrimp guy again if you're local in Ruskin Palo Beach Riverview awesome oysters awesome seafood I've had his uh, stone crabs unbelievable pricing but those oysters are to die for they taste so fresh those are really good you can just get full on fresh just gonna throw the hogfish on not really at smoky temperature I'm at 325 I mean, we're just trying to give it some smoke flavor. We're not really trying to, to smoke it, smoke it. We'll do that another time. We've had the fish on for about six or seven minutes. Not that long, but we're gonna go ahead and throw some of these oysters on too and smoke them up and I don't know. I don't know if you call it smoking on a Traeger at 325, but we're gonna try it out and see how it turns out. We're gonna put just a little bit of this St. Augustine just very lightly on them and throw them on and wish us luck. I'm just going to very lightly dust it. Lightly, lightly. It's falling apart flaky. 
Tastes like grilled fish. Don't have a lot of smoky flavor. Because it really wasn't on there that long. So I did a really fast butter compound. Yeah, my log is looking a little tartish. But I made a, a, a compound butter that I'm going to slice and put on each one of these oysters and then throw them on the grill. It's, it's uh, unsalted Kerrygold butter, some fresh garlic that I meant, well, that I pressed, a little bit of, a little bit of uh, oregano, basil, some red pepper flakes, a little bit of salt. I don't want it too salty because we might put some Parmesan cheese on it at the end and I don't want it to be over salty. Just putting like a little sliver on each one of them with the butter compound. It's still extremely frozen. That's a big one. Put it over here. Okay. So I had the grill preheating. I turned it all down on low because the, the oysters don't take that long. So we're just going to throw them on now. They're not going to take a whole lot of time. Maybe eight minutes. So here we go. And close just a couple more minutes okay it's been eight minutes we're gonna check these grilled butter bombs and see how they are yeah yeah they look they look done I mean since you can eat oysters virtually raw there's no such thing as undercooking them but we don't want to overcook them and make them tough I cooked them on low for eight minutes and I'm just gonna use my grill glove to pull them off because it's just so much easier than tongs we're tasting the grilled ones with the compound butter. Mm. Was it hot? It's hot. Mm. You want to taste it? How was it? Good. Mm. Did you taste the garlic? Oh yeah. <laughs> That's another statement. Do you want harm? Nope. Harm would make it so salty. So, another excellent, excellent oyster meal. Let me come in. Sorry. So, you will put down what you put in, in that. the compound butter and how long I cooked it mm -hmm. and all that stuff? Yes. Yeah, we'll yeah. have that in the description below. So again, we want to wish everybody a happy new year. Yes. Um, thank you again for all the support. We are looking forward to next weekend, our get together at Hooks Bar and Grill. It's next weekend? Yes, it's next oh my weekend. Gosh. It's crazy, isn't it? Even Chad said, I'm like, oh God, it is next weekend. It is next weekend. So yes, huh. it's next weekend. I'll be there. <laughs> so, I'll be there. Um, thank you to everybody that responds to her cooking segments. I get a lot of people asking for her to do cook more cooking segments. And I come home and I'm like, honey, People are asking for more cooking segments. Uh, so we're gonna try to do more. Uh, we're, we, she's kind of limited on what she does right now because she's on the carnivore diet. And we both- Did you eat how to cook me? <laughs> Which I think people don't care. They don't care. I've had Did people say- Did you how to cook a bacon wrap filet topped with blue cheese in the air fryer? Yeah. If you oh, wanna know how to do that? I guarantee we'll get some there. likes. Yes. I will teach you how to do yep. that. Please comment in the comments below if you want to see more meat recipes, because that's what we're eating a lot of. Please let us know because we'll do more cooking segments. Again, thank you very much. Fish more, catch more, and we'll see you on the flip side. Happy New Year!